name three diseases that can be prevented by immunization. Okay, let's see, three. Bring it home, Victor. Okay, forget about three. How about just two? The first would most definitely have to be... Ah, uh, come on, Victor. Just one. You can do it. So I should have studied a little harder. But I was so wiped out last night when I got home. I had this headache. And how am I supposed to know what hepatitis B is? I mean, do I care? Not a whole lot. All right. Time's up. Let's see your answers. Victor, being bummed does not count as a disease. I knew that, Mr. B. Just trying to make you smile. It's not working. Jenny, what is this? I'm sorry, Mr. Brody. It's been a bad week. I promise I'm going to turn it around. You've been saying that all semester. The truth is that you're both smart kids, and you're both going to fail this course unless you decide to do something about it. So what do we have to do? It just so happens that I know someone who might be able to help you both out. Dr. Roberts? If anybody can help you understand what you need to know, it's Dr. Roberts. But you might have to help the doctor out. Doing what? Well, you never know. Dr. Roberts is full of surprises. This doc better talk fast, because I got band practice at five. Just don't say anything stupid, OK? What are you talking about? I'm so loaded with charm, you're just lucky I'm letting you walk next to me. That is exactly what I'm talking about, Victor. I'm warning you, you better not blow this for me. Maybe you don't need to pass science. Hey, if I don't get the grades, I'm grounded, as in buried alive. This looks like the place. Well, I guess the doc's not home. Well, at least we tried. Let's go. <laughs> Try the doorknob. Is there a doctor in the house? This place is too weird. I'm getting out of here. <gasps> Who are you? I'm Dr. Roberts. You're Dr. Roberts? You got a problem with that? Uh, no, I just thought you were... Shorter. I know. Lots of people say that. Actually, it's no big thing. So, you must be those star pupils Mr. Brody said he was sending over. Not exactly. Yeah, whatever. So, here's my problem. Your problem? What about our problem? Oh, we'll get to that. But first things first, I'm trying to get the message out to kids like you that they need to get immunized now before it's too late. You both know what getting immunized means, right? It's when you get a shot, which is bad, but it keeps you from getting really sick, which is a lot worse. <sighs> He's good. You hear that? Doc's good. So what are we supposed to do? Well, look, we all know babies get immunized when they're born and then later before they go to school. But a lot of kids don't realize that they have to get immunized at age 11 to 12. Now, those immunizations can keep you from getting some really bad diseases like mumps, measles, chicken pox, diphtheria, ooh, hepatitis B. You're both immunized, right? Well, absolutely. That's what I wanted to hear. Now. What we gotta do is figure out how to get the message out there so that kids understand. Leave it to me and Jenny. We'll take care of it. Uh, how are you gonna do that? You just gotta know how to relate to kids. Trust me. Oh, most definitely. Hey, listen up. You guys have been immunized yet against hepatitis B? Hepto, what is? Hepatitis. Hepto, who cares? <laughs> you guys should take this seriously. It's really bad stuff. I don't care what they're selling. I don't want to get stuck with no dirty needles. What are you talking about? You know everything in a doctor's office has to be totally clean. I remember when I was a little kid, 
I had to get my shots before I had to start school. Ah! But you're not a little kid anymore. Victor, you're wasting your time. No, here she comes again. Forget it, Jenny. It's not happening, girl. We're not getting any shots. I was telling you this because I thought we were friends. We are friends, but that doesn't mean I'm going to see some doctor. Yeah, and I don't like the way those doctor offices smell. And those masks they wear like they're going to rob you or something. We're not talking surgery. They don't wear masks when they give you a shot. And besides, there's nothing wrong with doctors. They still give me the creeps. I don't need them. So, are you going to the dance Friday? You have a baby sister, don't you? What's it to you? Well, what if you get sick and then give the disease to her? Don't you know some of these diseases can be really dangerous for babies? It's not going to happen because I'm not going to get sick. Look at me, I'm young and healthy, just like you. They act like if they don't think about diseases, then it's not going to happen to them. But it can, and it does. Maybe if they could see how immunizations work to protect the body, then they'd be convinced. Take a look at this living diagram I've been working on. We can get sick when bacteria or viruses enter our bodies and cause diseases. When we get immunized against a disease, we get a shot that stimulates our body to create special proteins called antibodies. Antibodies are like little warriors that are fight off particular diseases like chickenpox or hepatitis B. Then, if we are exposed to the bacteria or viruses which cause these diseases and they try to infect us, we can fight off the infection. And we stay healthy. That makes it so clear. I know, that's what makes it so frustrating. I mean, kids gotta realize this is serious business. they know it was serious if they were about to get invaded by aliens. Try and keep your mind on the subject, Victor. My mind is on the subject. I mean, kids just don't realize that there are diseases out there waiting to get them. And the only way to stop it is by getting immunized. But you know that already. No, don't stop. Oh, go on, this is brilliant. It is? What did I say? If we could convince kids to see the disease as an alien invasion. But you can't see a disease. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I'll just hop in my F-15 and blow those alien suckers out of the sky. Yes, precisely. OK, we've got a few bugs to work out in the system. But according to my calculations, the alien invasion will commence in 18 hours and six minutes. The vaccine for hepatitis B was developed in the early 1980s. Today, it's given to infants, toddlers, and adolescents, usually around ages 11 and 12. Three injections will last a lifetime. If you haven't been immunized for hepatitis B, it's something you should do. Hepatitis B causes liver, which can be fatal. Check out your immunization records with your parents. Make sure you've had all three shots for hepatitis B. What's going on? There is no need to panic. We are now experiencing the first stages of an alien invasion. What are you talking about? At this time, there is a disease rapidly approaching our classroom. What's that stuff coming under the door? I don't believe in UFOs. I don't believe in UFOs. I don't believe in UFOs. You want to go home? Listen up. Your health may be in danger. There isn't much time. Is this some kind of trick? Not if you're already immunized. But I was immunized as a kid. See, that might not be good enough. Some shots wear off, like your tetanus shot. And if you haven't gotten your 11-year-old immunizations, then you're not safe. What are we going to do? I'm too young to die. The truth 
this. This was a simulated invasion. If a real disease was to come your way, there would be no alarm bells. But the effects can be just as dangerous. It's our job to make sure we're protected against all those diseases out there. Like chicken pox, measles, mumps, rubella, tetanus, and hepatitis B. Just go to your doctor and get immunized, and then you're safe. It's no joke. It could happen to you. It could happen to me. You're protecting yourself, and you're protecting your family. Everything under control? I think they got the picture. So how do we get immunized? You have to go see your doctor. But won't it hurt? That's a good question. That's why I've invited my friend, Nurse Moore, to come along to demonstrate what it's like to get immunized. Now, it turns out that one of my helpers isn't exactly up to date on his immunizations. Uh, oh yeah, I meant to tell you that. No problem. I've got your immunization record, and your parents have consented for you to get your hepatitis B immunization. Right now? I can't think of a better time. And you can get your next couple of shots in the months ahead. Piece of cake. So how come you didn't tell us you were bringing that doctor? Oh, I just love surprises. Wasn't it heaven? Did you see how all the kids were watching? Now they know it's not so bad to get immunized. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? Oh, that reminds me. I'm running an experiment. Hurry up, I need your help. Wait a second, what's it about? Oh, no time, I'll explain all 